I'm Wayne Firebird. We are at the Geraldine Vintage Cars and Machinery Museum in New Zealand. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. If, if you see my face and it's not moving, that means I'm a thumbnail. Click it. I'm Wayne Firebird, and you just wish you were. We're in New Zealand where there are no states or provinces, so we're just in New Zealand going to a place called Geraldine where there is a vintage car and machinery museum. Thank you commenters for suggesting all of these places. We haven't gotten to the museum yet. A Vauxhall SL 2000. That is cool, I like the wheels. Being transported by what most Americans would find hilarious, a Mercedes pickup truck. There are no Mercedes pickup trucks in the USA. It's a luxury brand only. We still haven't made it to the museum yet. I just look at the regular cars in the street. Ford Fairmont V8, now that's cool, but look at the Honda logo. I've never seen a Honda logo before. New Zealand really just has an amazing selection of Japanese cars. The, even ones I've never even seen in Australia or the USA. Mazda Demio. Now I've heard of that one, but we found the car museum, but we still have not entered the car museum yet because there's something else out here. A Holden Camira SLE, the stick shift. There are a fair number of Australian cars in New Zealand. New Zealand license plates are boring because there aren't any states to write the name of on the plate and there aren't any people coming in from other countries because it's an island, so it's just a bunch of numbers, letters. Austin Maxi, 1975. It's a, got four doors. It's not quite a station wagon. Front wheel drive. This is like the old washing machine. And old farming equipment. Farming. Schmarming. Let's look at the cars. You don't need to shoot this. I'm, I'm not into tractors too much. This is my show. It's not I'm yours. I'm Wesley Mad Skelly, and look at all these tractors. They've done a lot of tractoring back in the day. I'm not going to say anything. Hold an identification chart. That could be useful. I love these old Caterpillar logos. Well, we found one of the cars. Skoda Deluxe S110L. Looks like it's got the engine in the back. This toy train over here is big enough to pull cars with real people in them, so I guess it's not a toy train. It's an actual train. Beautiful wooden car. My dad made me a wooden car like that. It was purple. I've been into purple cars since I was that big. Over here, we have a ship's engine. A ship's engine, but there's no law that says you have to leave it in a ship. We could probably cram that into a Holden Barina. Inline six? Oh, sorry, straight six. But if I say inline, it's better because then the commenters correct me and say, just say straight six. And it gets more engagement. 810 horsepower. Well, what's the point? Maybe we'll just put an LS in. It's probably got pretty good torque though. Seriously though, I was, I was expecting it to have like 20,000 horsepower. We found the cars. I see something weird over here. The electric car, Zorro. New Zealand's first, and probably last, commercially produced electric car. A bit of an ugly duckling. They didn't bother naming it. Zorro is just the name they made up for it. The first thing you gotta do when you're making a new car in New Zealand is 
give your company a name and then give the model a name, and then maybe you'll have a little more success. There's the Treka, which is made by some company, it doesn't even matter, they, they, don't, they didn't put their name on it, it was just the Treka, and now we have the Zorro, but that's just a nickname they gave to it because no one wanted to bother giving it a real name. And even the museum doesn't quite understand how it works. There's a little bit of fudging in the description here. Seems to be connected by a spaghetti of HT leads, along with what looks like a light bulb. And it came in two colors, but only two were made. So I don't think that really counts as coming in those colors. It's, there, there were two made, one was cream, one was blue. I think these door hinges came off of a refrigerator. Beautiful MGA. Austin Mini Club Man, like a little panel van. New Zealand Auto Association of South Canterbury. I'm loving the hand-painted signs on this one. The sign in front of it too, even. Front to back, it's got hand-painted logos all over it. This beautiful, humongous, international B120 Safari Wagon. It's right-hand drive, but it's traveled through a lot of North America as well. Oh, stickers. Oh, the stickers are gorgeous. Wow. Why don't they just reproduce every single one of these stickers? Oh, it's been in Canada. If you go to Saskatoon, try the Saskatoon berries. They're amazing. Switzerland, Brussels, Berlin, Amsterdam. This thing really has been all over the place. Toledo 1500. I have no idea what this is. Triumph Toledo. Land Rover Defender. England used to want to rule the world and they largely succeeded using this vehicle. These things went everywhere. And then at some point they realized it wasn't really cool to travel the world and just try to take it over. But unfortunately some of the places that England later left were happier when England was there. It, they were ruled better when England was there. And you can argue a million reasons why that was, and you can blame England for that too if you want, but I think it's that there's nuance to this. It's that England's influence was not always bad. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. In the USA, we said it's bad. We said, screw you, England, get out of here. Australia and America are like England's naughty siblings, like the ones that England couldn't handle and didn't want. Mazda Familia. It's probably something I already know, but I've never heard it called a Familia. It's all about the Familia. Oh, and of course, Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. I mean, you would see them at every car show, except we're in New Zealand, so I can see why. Some people might be a bit excited to see one of these. Oh, there we go. Holden Monaro GTS, number 332 of 400, Chrysler Charger, and way too many police motorbikes. Looks like they probably got a deal on these. <laughs> when I was young, I used to watch the TV show called Chips. C-H-P-S, California Highway Patrol, and they stuck a little I in there. <laughs> This would have been the zip. Reminds me of the opening of the stone. Riding around on that freakish motorbike with a coffin for a sidecar.
I was just talking to Mad Skelly about some of the Australian phrases or even just pronunciations that I've adopted. And there aren't many, but there's definitely okay instead of okay. It's okay, okay. And uh, thanks, mate. It's not thanks, mate. It's thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. And, and can't. Can't is much better than can't because if you say can or can't, it sounds almost the same. But if you say can or can't, much easier to understand what someone's saying. I don't get into motorbikes too much, but this one's a beauty. L Saab Mark II. Built and ridden by Alistar. Alice. Alice. Alistar. Alice, Alice, Alice Alastair Sabiston. 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 Something cool with two doors over here. Looks kind of like a Celica, but it's not a Celica. Used to have a Toyota badge on it. Look at that beautiful thing. This car has a CVT. Oh boy, do I hate it. Now, it doesn't do the fake shifting, which is the what I thought was my only problem with CVTs. I thought the fake shifting was ridiculous because CVT doesn't need to shift. That's the whole point. It just goes wherever you go, but watch me floor it. Now we get to peak RPM. Like that was just, it takes forever for the CVT to spool up and adjust and say, oh, you want high RPM. You want lots of power, okay. I'll work on getting you there. CVTs are great in theory. Electric cars are great in theory. It's just the reality of them that I am not happy with at all. Shifting gears is not an end in itself. I'm happy to drive a CVT or even an electric car. It's just that when you actually implement a CVT or an electric car, they just are all terrible. They're all filled up with computers, focused on not giving the driver permission to do anything fun. I much prefer the raw experience of driving an internal combustion engine car with a manual transmission, but it's not because there's no way to design a good car with a CVT. It's not because there's no good way to design an electric car. There are great ways to design electric cars and cars with CVTs. They just haven't done it yet. I'm Wayson Firebird. This has been the Geraldine Vintage Car and Machinery Museum. I'm saying it funny because it's hard to say. I had to practice. Geraldine Vintage Car and Machinery Museum. Geraldine Vintage Car and Machinery Museum. There we go. Museum. Did I say museum? Mm -hmm. See, it's not that easy. I've gotten something called a cheese roll, and it looks like bread with cheese in it. It's pretty boring. Uh, it comes with butter. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I just put it on the bread. It's, it's, a, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. It should rolled up into a wad. Grilled cheese sandwich. I was saying to Matt Skelly, this is like Depression era food. Well, yeah, indeed, it dates back to the 30s. And Skelly pointed out that these would be very good with Vegemite. Do you like it? I like it as much as I like grilled cheese sandwich. Honda Accord wagon. Yes, we had Honda Accords, but I've never seen this really long wagon. Looks like it has a body kit on it, too. Very cool. Swept back window in the back. Toyota Noah. Never seen one of those. Opal Grand Land. Never seen one of those before. Thanks to Matt Skelly for the camera work. Jimmy! Jimmy!